Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my new video where we found a rather tough lane, and that is the Draven Zillion lane. We're against a Zillion one trick, and we're against a Draven, and it is going to be kind of rough. We have a annoying uh, ADC that you're going to encounter a lot. Obviously, ma we made a mistake early in this game, and it is going to be rather annoying, but um, I think we can come back. It's fine. Um, it should be fine. Um, Draven didn't get any of the kills. And it is rather annoying um, to play against, but I think we're going to do uh, rather well. Actually, I forgot. I'm just going to turn off chat in this game. I have had my fill of annoying people um, tonight, so we are going to be playing um, with the uh, chat off. And I, however, I recommend that um, to everyone. Um, this guy was just being friendly to the Draven because I was in a previous uh, lobby with him, and I just said, hey, uh, lock in Draven. I love playing with Draven. And he's, uh, it got banned and then it got dodged. So it is what it is. I really missed that W. Well, it looks like our top lane is really popping off. So we might just be the big issue. Looks like this guy is not going to go a super high damage um, Draven build or, or a Zillion build, which is nice. He's going to be going a high CDR build. Okay. okay. And we were able to get a kill there. Nice little turnaround in the overall game state. And I think this really just goes to show hey, um, when you're you're gonna get a lot of people um talking like this uh in game chat obviously and a lot of the times it's better to just focus on um what you're doing and just kind of disregard what's going on uh <laughs> with your allies mental because you can just get some absolute lunatics um on your team okay we are going to grab a tier Grab that. It's going to be nice. All right. Jesus, what is this Rengar doing up there? Holy crap. Well, it's a good thing we're going to have a lot of damage coming out of our jungle and our top lane. That's a really strange place for Kiana to be at level 3. I don't know the pathings too well, but, I mean, it seems like that isn't where you want to be at level 3 of Kiana. Hecra must be stealing a lot of her stuff. Because he's level 5. Alright. Must have got double scuttled as well. And we're going to be Q-maxing. Because we're going tank. Um, going tank Swain. Um, that's going to happen. All right, big. And Jin should be able to get this kill. Perfect. And again, just showing off how um, it can just be really, really important to <laughs> just disregard. Just disregard what your team is uh, saying in chat. If you are having a good game or a bad game, you should most likely when you're in lower elos, just um, turn off chat. You might miss out on meeting a couple of new people, but in general, um, most people just talk when the game is going uh, poorly. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. Well, um, don't give it to the Kiana. That is fine. There's a random place for him to be. Okay, so we are up in this bot lane. Unfortunately, we don't get to get those 
double buffs. Let's grab that. Grab that. And we're going to wait on another ruby crystal. And we're going to be super tanky down in this bot lane. I don't know if that Roma's worth it. At least we got the double buffs off uh, Zoe. And uh, we gave the Kiana a kill, which could be troublesome. But overall, I think it was a decent roam. Getting the Malphite ult out was pretty big, too. Sped up with W. Okay. So we got 1100 HP. We got a bit of extra armor. So we can bait. However, I do not like our chances at level 6 because of how powerful Zillion's ult is. You really have to play around it so heavily. Okay. And the nice thing about playing against Draven um, on this side is at least um, he usually auto pushes the lane so you don't get frozen on and have to um, try and unfreeze a lane, which can be really, really tough. <clears throat> right. Okay, we got that off. That's important. All right. Well, I bet this uh, Jin is feeling silly after uh, saying GG after the Dra the Zillion got two kills. Ah, he's dead. Super unfortunate. Right. She got our shutdown. It's okay though. We are going to be going this item. Oh wow. We have a full inventory. Okay. You know what? Actually, I'm, I'm kind of curious what that means. <laughs> What's Pete said in chat? If he's going to be continue being toxic, I wonder if he gets mad if I take kills. A lot of those, um, he wasn't really able to do anything to get the kills, anyways. So we're all good. All right, that's really unfortunate that Draven gets a shutdown, though. I think Hecarim picks up the mid lane wave. Okay, well, with Draven auto pushing the lane and us not just trying to take trades into them, it's actually pretty good that um, it just opened him up to gank. So that is the reason you could say, hey, you guys uh, just came back in this lane because of the... Um, because of the Hecarim ganks, um, which is true, they obviously helped out quite a bit, but uh, it was also us doing decent. We landed our CCs where we needed to. We didn't try and fight them and stop the auto push that the uh, Draven was doing. But this uh, this video is going to be all about showing off the power of Tank Swain. And one of the really big um, advantages of playing Tank Swain is that you get to not just get destroyed over and over again in lane. So playing against a snowball-y ADC like Draven, it is going to be helpful to deny a lot of stuff. Alright. wonder if he's going to just be right here. Nope. I just push out the bot lane. Okay. 
Okay. Just pushing out that lane. It should bounce back to this Rengar. Perfect. That's exactly where we wanted it. Right. Gonna sit in this bush. Didn't need to ignite there. Doesn't really surprise me that Jin is uh, blaming others for um, him making a mistake and overextending against Zoe again. Alright, cool. A strong spot. The um, glacial augment is just so nice. It is just such a strong rune that I think is just hyper, hyper underrated. Okay, we can grab that, and then we are gonna go tabbies this game, right? Uh, Marks might be a little bit better. Okay, we'll just sit on that gold. All right, we're going to be able to set up our ease a little bit easier with the proc that you can get off of your um, Frostfire Gauntlet. Oh. Should have made it more centered. Shouldn't have made it so easy for her to just run back into it. Oh. And this Rengar is just stupid ahead. And the Hecarim is doing a very oppressive build. And it's going to be a really nice front line. So we are going to have a strong front line from quite a few people. Oh, Jesus, man. I, I can't go up and just auto that for that core key because of how strong that uh, five and two Zoe is. Okay, go up here. Oh, push me, him out of his W. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Corky's able to come and clean up pretty easily. I don't think, uh, yeah. Okay, we get a bunch of assists. So we just did our job of just being a distraction. And um, since this team is going to be trying to do a lot of in and outs, it is going to be uh, just... Um, <laughs> right is going to be great here. why they're talking but i'm sure that this is entertaining more entertaining when you can see the chat of people just having a mental breakdown the draven talk shit after uh, his support got a double and then um he went five deaths on his one trick zillion okay that's big four shot 
Um, smite. Damn. Gonna start a fight, queer that pink, man. I can only get the gold off that. Maybe I can get a W zone here. Oh, that Draven's dead, dead. We'll just push in the wave. Alright, throw it a W. Now, obviously, if we had the Malphite on our team and not the um, Rengar, this game makeup would look very, very differently. But I think this goes to show what having a strong mental and muting players can look like. Oof. Oh, is he gonna go for an execute? That's funny. I don't know why some of these people aren't just uh, just calm me down on the pings because obviously we're so far ahead in this game. Let's see what Jen's saying. Very nice. We have the extreme amount of utility that's going to be coming out. Looks like the Draven kind of tilted. He was uh, pretty friendly in lobby and pretty friendly at the start of the game. That's an interesting adaptation. He just goes Fimble Winner. He doesn't go Miramana. He's just going to be insanely tanky. I think I'm going to finish this up with Demonic. Because I doubt they try and focus me with their damage composition. Alright, we got this. We have Corky Package and Four Soul. This is just disgusting.
All right. If Ekram gets this and Rang I mean, the man, this whole team loves this soul. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, well. Rengar might be in some trouble here. Okay. Alright, nice. Well, we're super strong. Surprised they aren't... Alright. Dude, this slows on this freaking Rylai's is so gross. Why can't I pass it, Proc? Wow, man, the utility of Rylai's. I can't, this is the day before the um, Rylai's buffs where they're going to start making it cheaper, and it could not come soon enough, man. Rylai's Swain is just another monster. He's so mad. <laughs> oh, I need to get to bed, so I just don't want to. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I guess if you have any questions about this build, it's all about utility. It's all about just slowing and slows and more slows and on top of more slows. I, I don't know what it is with this elo, but a high plat and a low diamond, you just get some crazy people with weird egos for really what anyone can accomplish. It's a very. Um, I've always said this on all my channels. I think that anyone can get diamond. It's a very simple uh, goal. You just have to play a small champion pool, play easy to execute champions, and that is all. <laughs> and most people will be able to climb to diamond as long as they have decent internet. All right, guys. You take it easy.